Howdy, 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 y'all. Teresa here and... Brad. Fighting with the dog, Brad. And losing. And losing. I think she might need to go out again, honey. Nixie, you need to go out? Can you go out again? She looks like, I don't know. We just got home and don't look at my hair. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was good. <sighs> Been a great day. I have to say that. Weather was beautiful out today. Wasn't it nice out today? Yes, it was. It was so nice. I stood outside about 5 o'clock, took the dachshund outside, and just kind of sat there, just or just stood there against the railing for the longest time. It was a gentle breeze, and it just was just such a beautiful <coughs> day. It was just... I mentioned it when we were in the store, but I had to laugh. The temperature was in the lower to mid-60s. <laughs> All the people that are wearing winter boots, long pants, heavy coats. Oh God, yeah, okay. yeah. They're they're dressed yeah, like it's you know like 32 degrees. But um, I have to say we're not used to the cold temperatures anymore either. Even though we're from Wyoming, because you know we got down. Are you okay, sweetie? Uh -huh. It got down to the 60s the other night and. It was cold. In fact, I had asked Brad to uh, plug in the heater in back because it was cold. And in fact, today I ordered a pair of slippers because my feet get cold. You know, like it's that old adage. My grandmother always taught me that if you, if you, if your feet are warm, the rest of you will stay warm. And I think that's so true. I always wanted a pair of uh, kind of like the fake fur, not the real fur. Um, but the fake fur, the, the fa fur, is that what it's called? It's F-A-U-X. I don't know how to pronounce it, I'll spell it for you. F-A-U-X for um, just soft, something to slip my feet into. You know, I want something I could just slip my feet in and out of, you know, because if I get warm, then I want don't want anything on my feet. So, but it was a gorgeous day out, and I didn't have a lot on my agenda. Last night, I had gone in and I painted, and last night, I, I didn't I didn't need to um, exercise. I, I do two days exercise a day off, and then two days, and then, you know, keep going like that, and I didn't need to clean house, and the dishes were already done and stuff. So I went in and painted for quite a while last night. First I went in and did a little bit of business work. And then I went in and painted. And I've been very frustrated with this painting I'm working on. I'm not used to working so big. It's a 24 by 30, which is quite big. And, um, at least for me. And, but last night I kind of hit that point where then I started liking it. And I'll show you an update picture here in a moment. Uh, and then uh, when I got up today, I was up by one, and um, I didn't have a lot I had to do again today. Uh, it was over at, all cut up on business stuff, and um, well, I did a little bit of business stuff, but um, then I went in and painted for quite a while, and I'm really, really, it's almost finished, guys. Not quite, but almost finished. And it was just, like I said, outside today was one of those days where you just kind of, you know, you just enjoy the breeze and the fluttering of the leaves and you just kind of thank God you're alive, you know. And um, it's been a good day. And then um, my husband wanted to take me out to dinner tonight, which, which, which was fantastic. He knew I hadn't been out of the house in a while. And uh, so we went out to eat, and then we stopped at Walmart and got a few groceries. We don't normally like to go at night, but again, he knew I hadn't been out of the house. And the whole thing that kind of set off the whole journey into going into the dark side of Walmart is we need to get Halloween candy because we don't have any Halloween candy. And, you know, we needed to get it. I have to show you. Linda... Linda and I, the other day, you guys all know, you guys know Linda's my best friend. You guys have heard it a million times. Linda crazy for you. So we talk on the phone every day for as long as before one of us loses phone connection, which happens almost every day still, Brad Heidi. 
Does it? Yes. It's probably all her fault. We haven't figured out whose fault it is. Sometimes she loses it. Sometimes I am. You know, but um, you're talking about uh, t telling me to get some Halloween candy and stuff. And I'm rather excited about it because it's the first year in about three years that I actually know there are kids around and stuff. And she was telling me about how you make these Halloween gloves and you stuff the gloves with candy. You know, you use like um, the Smarty candies for the fingers and then you put like a couple candy bars in the palm area and stuff and then you tie it. And I said, well, that would work. I have plastic gloves. And I said, I also have um, some plastic rings I got, uh, you know, spiders and bats and that. So that would look really cute. So I wanted Brad in, Brad he always, he's always so good to me, but he was like, yeah, we can go and get, you know, that Halloween candy and, and stuff. And, uh, we've got the groceries that we need for a while and, you know, and we need to make sure that Missy had her food and stuff. By the way, Missy's doing fantastic, people. I couldn't be more thrilled. I really, really, I mean, she is back to getting into stuff. She's back to trying to to gum Charlie's face off. She tried to do that this morning. She knocked over the trash can when we came in because I put the gate up and I put the trash can right behind. It's a baby gate. Just to block him off while I help Brad carry in groceries. Oh, she knocked that all over and trash all over the kitchen and stuff and She's eating great. She's coming up and down the stairs great. What a turnaround. I don't know if she just wasn't feeling good. I still think she got too cold, too. And uh, she loves that heating pad, though. I'll tell you what. But, yeah, she's. I'm I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled. So, and, and I know Brad is, too. And what else, honey? Brad's back's killing him. Really is. Really killing him. Really having a hard time with it. Um, you know, but we're working toward, we have some definite goals that we want to work toward and stuff. I'm trying everything I can. Um, I won't get it done tonight, but tomorrow I will list. I have three different kinds of incense, the sticks, all done. They're finally done curing. I have them all bagged up, and I'll be listing them on Etsy. I have Autumn Spice. And I have orange clove, and I have um, <coughs> mulberry. So, uh, limited quantities, you know, because I only do, you know, so many dozen. I do baker's dozens anyway, but so many dozen at a time. That I'm, you know, I'm a small operation here. So, um, <laughs> I'll be starting some more probably tomorrow and stuff, some more different, different ones. I only have about six different oils right now, so... Um, and I'm not wanting to really invest. I have enough money invested in other business adventures. Right now, I don't want to, you know, we've got enough outgoing right now that, you know. But uh, that's okay. You know, but I'll tell you, I'm doing everything I can to bring in money to, you know, help and, and stuff. Our goal eventually is to, you know, we'd love to have him be able to um, work from home and stuff because, uh his back really, really needs him to be much kinder to it, you know, so, um, it's, angry it's very angry with you, it's screaming at you anymore yes, these it days, is. it is very unhappy with you, Nixie's doing great, Charlie's doing great, Charlie's a little put out, because Missy went on the couch with me, so I made him get down, and he was just, he was not happy with me, in fact, he's still mad at me, honey, mm -hmm. oh, I know, Charlie, are you mad at me? Oh, I saw the other day there was a, a dog. I was watching one of those prison shows, the uh, Lock Up Extended Stay. Uh -huh. Anyway, they they take they foster dogs that mm -hmm. um, from the Humane Society that were going to have to be put to sleep uh -huh. because they were unadoptable. Uh -huh. And what these prisoners do is they it's like a I think it's a six week training thing, uh -huh. and they tr train these dogs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there was one that was. Brad, or, uh, not you, you're not, you're not a dog. Charlie oh, nice. is. <laughs> but the, the, what is it, Carne Caruso or whatever? Kane Corzo. Yeah, that he is? Yeah. 
And it had the same droopy eyes as he does. Yeah. It's part of that breed. Yeah. And um, it looked, it, it was a little bit, had a little bit brown on it, but it looked almost identical to yeah. Charlie. Yeah. So, yeah. and it was about the same size and yeah. everything. So. Well, everything I've read on them, that they're, they're right there between, uh, between uh, 110 mm -hmm. and 140. Yes. Right where he's, that's the zone he is in. Are you mad at me still, Charlie? Oh, yeah. Charlie, are you not going to... Nope. Wow. Charlie, yeah. Yep. You definitely... I know when he's really mad at me because he won't even look at me. Charlie. You peeked out the suck meter. Charlie. Did I see a tail? Did I see your tail go, Charlie? Oh, see, he can't take it. Come here. Come here. He's like, no, because that little dog is going to chew my face off again. Hi, Charlie. Are you done being mad at Mommy? And I know. I know. He's like, you know, just starting to one up over that old dog. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a great day. Uh, oh, I promise you guys I'd do an update. Love you the most, by the way. I was trying to be polite and not interrupt your video. Video? But what are you doing? I'm going to be rude and interrupt your video. Are you? Yep. Why? Because. That's not very nice. Anyway, this is, I don't know if I can see this or not. You never can see it because I have all these lights here. And now can you see it? Probably not. I'm sorry. You guys can't see it. Hey. Whoa. Wow. I never play. You always know, have to wait and see the real thing, I guess, when it gets done. Or if you're friends with me on Facebook, you'll see it. Come on, Charlie. Come on back there. Come on. Come on. You can go back there. Go back behind there. There you are, Charlie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a great day for me. Been okay for Brad. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more day. One more but day. He, Halloween, he gets off at 4 o'clock, which I'm really excited about because, first of all, I have a live show I'm doing on here for my business. And, um, somebody needs to be outside to hand out these gloves of candy to the, the little kids. I wish I had some fake nails, man. I would glue some fake fingernails. Not fake nails, fake fingernails. I would glue some of them on them gloves. But you know what? Make them look all witchy. Some little kid would end up hurting Well, that's himself. true. That's true. Dab their little, gouge their little sister's eye out accidentally, mm -hmm. and I'd be sued. Yeah. You know. Like crazy. Eh, nope. I saw that little girl next door chasing a little boy around with a wooden mallet. <laughs> like a croquet, oh, a croquet mallet. mallet. Yeah. She was out there chasing. He's running all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he looked at me and he says, help! And I just shrugged my shoulder and went back in <laughs> He, She couldn't catch him. So, but it was funny. <laughs> she was having fun, too. She was walking around with that. Like, come here. <laughs> I know. I love kids. So, anyway. Love you guys. I do cherish your friendship so much. Hope you had a great day. Hope you have some fun weekend plans. We don't really. Brad, tomorrow is our Friday. So, you know, one more day. One more day, honey. I know. Yep. So, anyway, I'm, I'm going to get off here. Sorry. And remember, I love you guys. I do cherish your friendship so much. And I think you guys are awesome. And... Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys. <laughs>